but without any further ado, I want you guys to give a big Build Conference welcome to Mr. Blake Corey. There he is, there he is, a legend. Wow, look at the size of this room. There are some amazing agents in this room, some amazing coaches in this room, and it is an absolute pleasure and an honor to stand up here and give you a ton of information. I mean, I've cram packed this information. I'm gonna talk really quickly today because I, I'm taking what I usually coach in about an hour and condensing it down to about 15 minutes worth of time. So I'm gonna go really fast, but thank you, Jeff Willems. Thank you, Mike Gerbic, Adam Bailey. Those three are my key business partners in my business out. They are the reason that I have been able to grow so quickly. And today I'm gonna share a little bit about that growth and what I call the four pillars of success in real estate. But to Jeff's point, these numbers that you see on the screen, this is what we've already done this year. 400 plus home sales, 300 plus million in sales volume, closed and pending. So we're on pace to break over 500 transactions this year. And none of that is me. I haven't sold a, a single piece of real estate in over two years. So today I'm gonna be sharing that with you guys. I'm gonna be sharing with you how you guys can absolutely change your life. And I'm gonna start with a little bit about who I am. So who is this guy? Why is he an authority? Why should you be listening to me? Well, for one, let's start with who I really am. I am a father of two amazing little girls. They are the biggest why in my life. I'm also a husband, my wife is in the back and I'm a serial entrepreneur. I, I've been doing this since I was 19 years old. I have been creating wealth and income on my own since I was 19 years old and had a lot of failures in between then and now, which I'm gonna share some of them with you. But yeah, I've sold over a billion dollars of real estate in my career. Uh, I've been in the, one of the top 10 teams in California. Um, this year, one of the top 10 in the mega size team. And then of course, recently, was awarded Inc. 5000's top 200 fastest growing privately held companies inside of California. So, and I've been a real estate coach. I've coached real estate agents internationally for the last five years. But let's talk a little bit about my journey. Oh, let's see if I can go backwards real quick. So real quick, I do not have a high school diploma, never stepped foot into college. I'm a high school dropout. Junior year, 17 years old, decided to leave high school and go seek something else in the world. I, I, I was not satisfied with what they were forcing me to learn in school. It just wasn't who I am. And I'm gonna share with you guys in a second why I always like to start every single time I talk to people that I failed in high school. I dropped out, I left. Because a lot of people think the individuals that get up on stage, the individuals who talk to you, They've got degrees, they've got MBAs, they've got even PhDs. But today I can tell you that those people work for me. MBAs, PhDs. I always make it a point to be the dumbest person at the table because that means I'm at the right table and I'm learning from those individuals. And that's why you guys should be so happy to be here because there's so many intelligent, wealthy, smart people here that you get to learn from. And I, every day, you'll see me out in the hallways because I'm always trying to pick somebody's brain, take the next piece of information from. Them. So I got my real estate license at 19 years old. 17 to 19, La the last career I had outside of being an entrepreneur was a Starbucks barista. That's the last thing that I did before this. So consistent peaks and valleys in my real estate career, ups, downs, sold houses, lost it. Sold houses, lost it. And of course, I started in 2006. So that was a really rough time in the real estate industry if you didn't know what you were doing. But you know, I realized that at a certain point in time I needed a coach. So I took a jump, as most agents do, joined a coaching program and, and realized that success does leave clues. You know, you guys, will, that, that, that's a famous saying of Tony Robbins, who you're gonna see here tomorrow, which who is not pumped up for that right now. That is gonna be an amazing experience if you've never seen him. So, some of those clues for me worked, some didn't, but they made me realize the importance of finding a mentor, finding somebody who could lead me down the path 
of success, what, what I felt a successful life and real estate career was. And I'm gonna tell you guys right, this right now. If you take nothing else away from what we talk about, get yourself, if it, get yourself a coach, get yourself a partner. Get, if you're not part of EXP yet, man, your team members, your business partners that you're gonna get into business with, they're gonna be there to support you. Make sure that their business is exactly what you want. Mine was. Mike Gerbic, Adam Bailey, Jeff Willems, Brent Gove. That was the life that I wanted. And it was so easy to shut down my independent real estate brokerage and take the leap because I wanted to learn from those guys. So anyway, uh, found a coach, started working with my sponsor, Mike Gerbic, back in 2018 and, and changed everything. Started making it on to the Real Trends list, the Inc. 5000 list. And then from there, started to understand what I call the four pillars of success. Then I started focusing on frontline leadership and developing the leaders in our organization. And since 2016, my real estate business has had 725% growth. I mean, even year to date, we are over 100% growth with about 50% less homes to actually sell in our marketplace. So what am I doing now? I get to pay it forward to you guys. So real quick, as you guys can see the numbers, 36 homes, all the way now closed and pending as of August 5th, over 400 homes. And we kept just growing and growing and growing and growing. So who's ready to jump into what I consider to be the four pillars that helped us get there? You guys ready? All right, let's go. All right, so pillar number one, you have to say it, proclaim it, exactly who you are and where you're going. Because I'll tell you guys this, if you do not believe that you'll be the number one real estate agent at, in your marketplace, the number one real estate agent in your county, the number one real estate agent in your state, in, in the United States, Canada, wherever you're at, you'll never get there. It all starts right here. It starts right here in your mind. You gotta believe it and you gotta say it. In my market, I've had an 800 pound gorilla sitting at the top of the mountain forever. They've been the Real Trends number one team for about 10 years until last year they finally got beat. But I said it three years ago when we were selling nothing. We were selling no homes. We were selling 80 homes a year. They were selling over uh, 450 homes a year. They were the number one team. I mean, you, you drive right by, I had to drive right by their office every single day. And out in front, they said number one team in Southern California, and they have it on all of their marketing. But three years ago, I stood in front of a room of 100 people, and I said, we will be the number one team in this county, the number one team in the area, and we will beat them in three years. I was selling 80 homes. I was selling 80 homes, but I believed it. And nothing was gonna stop us from achieving that goal because I felt that I had the right plan of attack to go and execute. So first you gotta change this. All the technical pieces, they make no difference unless you change this right here. So you gotta say it. Then pillar number two, you've gotta infuse your business with business. You gotta infuse your real estate business with lead generation, scalable lead generation. Not, not, and I'll talk about what that means here in just a moment. Number three, scalable tools. You have to have tools that you can scale and take it from one agent, two agents, to 10 agents, to 20 agents. I mean, I have 45 agents on my sales team. We've gotta have the tools necessary for them to go out and execute at a really high level. It's not about the tools being perfect, it's about the tools being scalable. And then of course, number four, probably the most important, leadership development. You've gotta develop the people inside of your organization because you will only grow as far as your leaders take it. All right, so let's talk about pillar number one. It all starts with your why. Why are you doing this? Why? I mean, most of you guys have found it or you can probably describe it, but here's the thing. Do your disciplines and habits, do they match that why? Like Jeff said, I get up four o'clock in the morning, every single morning, including Saturday, Monday through Saturday. Sunday I get sleep in, I gotta give my wife that time. But Monday through Saturday, I get up and I start working. I gotta start putting in the work before the sun gets up, before my kids get up. Cause you know, if you guys have kids, you know you're on their time when they wake up. So I gotta get all my work done before they get up. Do your disciplines match your why? If you really want this, what are you doing every single day to work towards it? You don't get your wants, you get your must haves. I must be the number one real estate team in California. That's a must. 
And that's the same must that every single one of my leadership team has. They wake up and they breathe it, they eat it, they, they, they just, they can't get it out of their mind. And we have it plastered all across our office. Number one real estate team in California. Because we are destined to get there because we believe it. Now number two, lead generation. To scale your business, the first thing you need is leads to feed your salespeople. This is a big misconception inside the big box brokerages. If you guys have left Colwell Banker, Remax, Keller Williams, even smaller uh, real estate brokerages, this is something that they don't teach you. And I'm not talking about cold calling. I'm not talking about door knocking. I'm not talking about open houses. We don't do any of those things in our business. Not a single one. No cold calls, no door knocking, no open houses. Because I can't scale that. I, I, you, you can't, wait, I'm sorry, say that one more time. Booyah! Yeah, you, I can't scale. I cannot scale door knocking, guys. I'm not here to get three listings in a month. I got to get 10 listings in a week, minimum. So I can't scale that. And it, it's the old saying, if you can't buy business, you don't have one. You don't have one. What you guys are learning here today, you can take into any market and execute. Because these are all things that can be done. I can go into any market right now and buy business. I can go into any market and start executing this plan and selling houses and outperforming agents who have been there 10, 15, 20 years. So I hope you guys are writing this down. If you can't buy business, you don't have one. You need predictable and scalable lead generation sources. Now, scalable tools, this is a big one. And I've got something special for each and every one of you guys at the end of today's talk. So number one, you have to have a tool to teach your salespeople, to teach your inside salespeople as well, how to convert a lead to an appointment. See, we call this in, in my office, the Corey Home Team way, how to convert a lead to an appointment. That's the first thing that we focus on with our salespeople. And let me teach you guys something. It is not about the perfect script. You know why? Because it doesn't exist. The perfect script does not exist. I have been through, I can't tell you how many different coaching program scripts, top teams across the country. It doesn't exist. And sometimes you watch people try to perfect it too much. How many of you have seen a script on how to convert lead flow and it was just so complex that you just did nothing? Like, it was just like, I, I, I don't even know where to begin. Show of hands, anyone ever seen a script like that? Just, a, I've seen plenty of them. And when I, was, when I was newer into building a team, I saw simple ones and I'm like, that, that doesn't work. What if they do this? What if they say that? And then later I realized, no, the simplicity of it is scalable. I can train 100 agents how to do that. I can train 200 salespeople how to do that. I can train inside salespeople how to do that. Then you have to be able to teach people how to convert an appointment into a signed agreement to do business. What's your value propositions, your unique selling propositions? Where's the buyer presentation, the listing presentation? And are you reinforcing this every single week with your salespeople? It's important to make sure these tools are built for scale. Guys, I've traveled the country. I've seen the top teams around the country. I've been through coaching programs. I've seen, I've seen almost everything. And you, you have to understand, the largest teams, the guys selling the most homes, have the most scalable tools. Now pillar four, probably the most important. Team building and leadership. Let's start here. This is one of my favorite quotes. If you want to have more, you've got to become more. Just remember that. If you want to have more, you've got to become more. And success is not something that you pursue. Success is something you attract by the person that you become. I'm a high school dropout, dyslexic, barely read getting out of high school. My business will profit over $1 million, not gross, not gross. We will profit over $1 million this year. I make more money and have more things than anybody else I went to school with. I keep, Facebook keeps us in touch. I know that. I live the life of my dreams, but I wake up every day and I invest into myself. I read every single day. I work on myself every single day and I put myself in situations to grow every single day. What are you guys doing? 
Because I hope you're doing the same. Don't follow top team leaders in your market. This is a big one. Don't look in your marketplace. You got to think bigger. The way I found, do you guys know, the way I found he was my coach first and then he was my sponsor in eXp. I wanted to be the best. So I took the real trends list of the top 100 team leaders in the country. And I started at number one and I made phone calls until I got to number nine. Mike Gerbic, the number ninth ranked team leader in the nation back in 2017, they answered my call. They took my call. I said, I want to pay you to visit your office. I want to pay to learn from you. And they taught me. And now he has been the closest confidant, closest advisor to me than anyone else. The guy sold over 1,400 homes in a single year. And we talk almost every single day. Who do you have that's selling that many homes that you can talk to every single day to help you succeed? And news alert, if you guys are trying to grow a team, you're trying to sell 200, 300, 400, 500, 1,000 homes, you're not really in the home selling business. You're in the agent attraction and agent development business. See, in my office, our clients are our agents and buyers and sellers are our customers. But the agents on our team are our clients. And you heard it yesterday, it's about client retention. What are you doing to retain those clients? That's the mindset shift that helped me catapult. Now, one, oh, look at my time. The, the red light is flashing. I told you that I usually do this an hour. I got to condense in, into about 15 minutes. Develop your frontline leadership. I don't even run the day-to-day -day operation of my business anymore. I coach real estate agents. I'm always looking to build. I'm looking to help agents. I train inside of my office, but I have someone developing the leadership team for our organization. That is why in the next five years, we will break 1,500 home sales. That, that is a foregone conclusion because I got the best leadership team in the world. Now here's a gift to everybody and now my time is up. I said, I wanna give back and I wanna pay it forward. Most of you guys don't have those scalable tools. So I thought to myself and I talked to a couple people, what would be a gift that I can give everybody at the Build Conference? And that's gonna be my listing presentation. That is a scalable tool that you can copy and paste and implement directly into your business. If you guys want my listing presentation and I'm working on shooting a little 30 minute training on how to use it, email exp at coreyhometeam.com, exp at coreyhometeam.com. And then my staff's already prepared to start shooting it out to you guys so you have it. And I'm gonna be working on a short video that's gonna train you guys how to use it because I wanna see every person in this room be as successful as I've been able to be, but I hope you guys want it just as bad because I, I really wanted to be successful and I was willing to make sacrifices. So now here's your opportunity. What are you gonna do with it? Your opportunity to get the first scalable tool for some of you guys in your business. What are you gonna do? It's right here. All you have to do is send the email. All right, my time is up. Thank you guys so much for having me. I hope you enjoyed that 15 minutes. Have an amazing, amazing build conference. I'll see you guys probably at the bar. See you guys there. Let's welcome.